Diabetes is a chronic, long-lasting health condition that affects how your body turns food into energy. <laughs> Excuse me. Most of the food you eat is broken down into sugar, also called glucose, and released into your bloodstream. When your sugar goes up, it signals your pancreas to release insulin. Insulin acts like a key. Oh, for fuck's sake, you're not 12. You know what diabetes is. Despite you knowing what diabetes is, it didn't stop people from wanting to educate you in the form of video games. Who are those people? Raya Systems. Raya Systems, or Raya, depending on who you ask, was owned by Steve Brown, who toted Raya as a digital therapeutics company, which apparently translates into crappy edutainment games. Digital therapeutics. That's like if I called my porn folder dick therapy. They got so serious about this that they actually got grant money from the U.S. Department of Health and partnerships with several pharmaceuticals companies. Hell yeah, Beat Banger brought to you by Viagra. The games were all called the Health Heroes series and consisted of four games and one unreleased game. And those four games were Rex Ronan Experimental Surgeon. Experimental Surgeon? You mean this guy just opens people up and just starts digging around? By that logic, Freddy Krueger could have been an experimental surgeon. Bronchi the Bronchiosaurus, which was meant to teach you about asthma. Captain Novelin and Packy and Marlin. Two games about diabetes. And then there's the fifth game that we didn't get and I swear to god I am not making this up the name of the game was the AIDS Avenger what I would give to live in the timeline where we got the AIDS Avenger but with that said let's play what's undoubtedly the star of our show Captain Novelin also I accidentally recorded all this stuff in widescreen let me fix that <laughs> There we go. So what is Captain Noblin's deal? Like, he's a superhero, but he has diabetes? Like, that's his superpower? Your power is that you have a health condition? Okay, I'm gonna call myself Anxiety Man and never show up to crimes because being relied on to do a task nerves me out and I'm scared of people. What would be a good anxiety superhero name? Like Risperdal Ranger? Sergeant Zoloft? President Prozac? Mr. Lithium. <laughs> I love how they had to put a disclaimer of like, yo, don't use this game to manage your diabetes, okay? Aliens have landed on Mount Way Up There. Yeah, that's right next to West Mississippi, which is in the center! So aliens disguised as junk food have taken over the world, and Captain Novelin has to destroy them. And he also has to save the mayor of Pineville? Wait a minute, there's a Pineville in Louisiana. I've been there before. Somebody tried to shoot me when I was there. Remind me to tell you that story one day. Oh, hello, scary Vanna White from Wheel of Fortune. Please, shower me with your vest information of type 1 dye. Or type 2, I don't know, I don't have it. Yet. Oh wait, you gotta check your glucose level. I don't have to do this, but I do have to check my heart rate. I got a little watch, it tells me my heart rate. It used to keep telling me to get off my ass and work out until I threatened it with violence. Look here guys, you can solve so much shit with violence, it ain't even funny. How do you think anything gets done in America? Violence. Look here, you even had to fill up the needle. Yo, this guy looks like Fat Albert. I take nutritional advice from Fat Albert, cause he'd say, hey, 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 eat whatever the fuck you you won't, man. How about I review the game and stop going on tangents? So this is actually really important. You're supposed to pay attention to this because you can pick this stuff up in the level. You get one of each food item to get your blood glucose in the green. Let me tell you about the controls because they confused the shit out of me so much that I did one whole playthrough without even knowing I could attack enemies. So I guess that could tell you how easy this game is. So when you jump, depending on how fast you're going, you'll either jump normally or you'll do a roll in the air. Neither of these will will kill an enemy. You can only kill an enemy if you push down while in midair. I found that out by accident on my second playthrough and then the game was even easier. If you eat too much food, your glucose will go in the red. If you don't eat enough, it goes in the blue and you can die from it getting all the way up or down. Again, how is this a superhero? Captain Bible was a more intimidating superhero than this guy. Hell, Ram Lazar could beat his ass. Every now and then you get diabetes trivia and you don't really have to do these, but if you do, you get an extra life. Sometimes you'll find a star in the level that will literally just give you the answer. Unless you're like me and walk right past it. Good job, bro. Now, if I don't mention this, someone will. In one of the hints, there's an infamous typo. And guys, I played this game to completion twice, trying to get it to show this typo, but it never did. Maybe it got fixed in my version, I don't know. But here it is, straight from the Let's Play that made it famous. Check you feet! <laughs> you love to see it! And there's also this hilarious conversation. Hello, 
Ranger, I have diabetes. Is there anything special I should know before climbing the mountain? That's such an odd way to start a conversation with somebody. It's like, hi, I have diabetes. How are you? Now I really wish you would have got AIDS Avenger. Hi, I have AIDS. Is there anything I should know before going into this whorehouse? Spoiler alert, the final boss is a fat guy that throws pies at you. At least he didn't come in them. All you gotta do is hit the switch and let the electric floor shock him twice and you're done. Or are you? One final test. The mayor's blood sugar is at 30. What do you do? What do you do? I'll tell you what you do. Make a save state so if you get it wrong, you can just choose the other thing. Captain Novelin saves the day somehow. But can he fix the crack in my T5 vertebrae? I highly doubt it. Now it's time for Rex Ronan Experimental Surgeon. Okay, guys, what health condition do you think this game is going to teach us about? Did you say living with a pacemaker? Wrong! It's the dangers of smoking. Ah, yes, smoking. The thing that makes you and your entire house smell like ass and gives you a cough for all eternity. Seriously, who fucking smokes anymore? Except boomers and teenagers trying to look cool. Cool. Anyway, you're trying to save the president of an evil tobacco company before he dies from smoke inhalation. <laughs> Not snow inhalation, you jackass! And apparently the tobacco company has put evil robots inside his body to kill you? I don't know, we needed enemies to kill. Here's where it gets confusing. The game tells you that you need to use your weapon to clean up the tar deposits and other nasty shit that's inside the body then head to the goal. So I took that as, I have to get every single bit of it. But it turns out you don't have to do it at all? It's just for points? Well, somebody could have told me because I stayed here shooting at all these teeth, trying my damnedest to get every little speck of dirt off of these teeth with the shittiest weapon that I can barely aim and ended up finding out the hard way that there's a time limit. It's just, it sucks. It just fucking sucks. Now, what sucks is that they give you a decent weapon for cleaning off the gunk to begin with, which looks straight out of Turrican, but that weapon barely hurts the enemies at all, and the one that's just a small projectile hurts them a lot. So you have to pick your damn poison of do I clean the shit or do I fight the robots? You can't feasibly do both. And some of these robots take a lot of fucking hits. Come on. Die for fuck's sake. I've got an... I've... Uh, I've got other shit to play, come on! God, your mother! And then there's these flying levels, which remind me of that one level from Earthworm Jim. All you do is avoid the shit coming at you, and that's it. Really not seeing the point of this one. Where in the body are we? Are we going through somebody's colon? Coming full circle from that joke I made on the TurboGrafx CD video. Did you know that a five-foot-tall person can easily have 25 pounds of shit stuck in their colon? And you can get all that stuff out of you by using sea salt water? You you are one big shit away from losing 25 pounds. Programming games would like to inform you not to use anything said or commented on in the show as proven medical advice. Always consult your doctor before considering saltwater shits. Thank you, my legal team. Well, let's do the next game, shall we? Packy and Marlin, the other diabetes game. Did you know that Packy is a slur? That's what Larry Bundy Jr. said. That's the first time I've heard him say a sentence without ending it with Sedex Spectrum. Maybe I'll review that one day. Speaking of things that are extremely British, this game stinks like a British Amiga game. What was the deal. Could the British not make games until Rare came along? Even they had a bad track record for a while. Either way, it's a lot like Captain Noble and you have to eat certain foods and certain amounts of them and then you head to the goal. I think because I never finished a single level. I wandered all over this damn map trying to figure out where in the world I'm supposed to go, and I have no idea. I think I'm supposed to take this guy out, but when I did, it told me his blood sugar's too high, and I have to start the level over again. Nope. Well, luckily, this game's like Super Mario 3, where you can pick what level you want to do. So I can at least show you a different level, and it's a water no! And it's more confusing than the last level, because everything looks the same. I swam and and swam and dredged through this entire fucking level trying to figure out where the hell I'm supposed to go or what the fuck I'm supposed to do and I am at a loss. I just don't know. And I'm not even that sure I've gone through the whole level cause I don't know where I'm going and I sure as hell don't know where I've been. And here I go again clueless as shit Going down the same damn place I've already been Demonetized, oh yeah, let's keep going. 
Last game, Bronchi the Bronchiosaurus. And oh god, this story. Years ago, meteors struck Sensorian. Explosions filled the air with thick and filthy dust. Hey, don't insult dust. That's a good game. So the mighty wind machine was made to clear the air so everyone could breathe. Yeah, I bought one of them things before. They just make your house smell like the filter. It's all a big... <laughs> It's all a big scam just to get you to buy filters. God gave me this dirt to breathe. I'm gonna breathe it. Then Mr. Rexo stole the machine and hid its pieces all over Sansarian and forced his dinosaurs to protect the pieces. I was wondering when we were gonna get the seven magic MacGuffins. Now the dust is coming back. Help Bronchi and Tracky find the lost machine pieces. But don't forget to manage their asthma along the way. Ay ay ay. ay. Wait, is it Tracky or Trachy? Like tracheotomy. That's where they cut your throat open and stick a damn hose down it. That's a little on the nose. Then the game starts feeding you information about asthma and how to use an inhaler. I've had to learn this shit. I used to have asthma. Why don't I still have it? I got better. So quite like the diabetes games, not only do you have to worry about your health, but you gotta worry about your health, herder. If you get around things that agitate your asthma, you risk having an asthma attack and dying. But you can pick up a prescription label or an inhaler to heal the asthma. Other than that, it's a pretty mediocre platformer that has some asthma quizzes for you to do in order to advance. Sometimes you'll fight an insanely easy boss, and sometimes that cowbell instrument or whatever it is will get on your nerves enough that you'll want a game that deals with overwhelming rage. I believe it's called Doom. I got about halfway through the second level, like the second stage of the second level, before I finally said that's enough. But overall, I can say it's the one that offends me the least. And if you gave a kid with asthma this game, he'd probably say, Oh, thank you, Mom. Thank you so much. Oh, my God. See, I could do that joke because I used to have it. It wasn't fun. Don't get asthma, kids. And don't be like my parents and smoke while your kid has asthma. And that is the games of Raya Systems. It was a mixed bag. A bag of crap, of course, but it was like different kinds of crap. You got all kind of different types of turds in there. And even though Raya Systems would shut down shortly after making these games, Steve Brown, who founded the company, would go to Hollywood and have tons of success directing documentary movies, which he still does today. So things turned out good for for him. Captain Novalin was never seen again. Some people say he's still sticking needles in his arms to this day. That's a heroin joke. And with that, that's the video. My returning viewers are probably wondering where the hell I was for so long and why it took so long for me to make a video. Well, I've been busy flipping cars. <laughs>